Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today, we'll talk about the brand Grid widget presented by Element Pack Pro. Let's get started. First, drag and drop the brand grid widget inside your web page from the menu. You'll see blocks of blank brand images there. On top of them, you'll notice a tiny plus icon at the left bottom corner. Hovering over the icon will review a new window on top of the images having the brand name and a link. This is the base function of our brand grid widget. From the item section, we can see the added items and a button below to add more brand items as you want. Clicking on an item will review the following options, an image field, brand name, website URL, and custom URL text. Let's select some brand images for example from our media library. We are going to do that for all the blanks. The image size option at the bottom is for adjusting the image resolution of the grid. The additional settings section holds a bunch of other options including the column numbers. You can select it up to 6 for the grid. Then we have the column gap and row gap scrollbars below. Using the column gap, we can make space between the items in the columns. The same goes for the row gap option. After that, if you turn off the switcher named show brand name, all brand names will vanish from the brand grid. That's the same for the link switcher right below. The option named select event lets you choose how the hover effect will happen on the content. The animation can trigger by hovering over the icon or the whole widget and you can even select the click option so that the animation triggers only by clicking the plus icon. Then again, you can choose the icon position on top of the image from the menu here. Let's go to the style tab. The first section lets you customize the whole background of the brand grid widget with the background type, border, radius, padding, box shadow and image. The background can be gradient or monochrome as you like. Let's make it white. You can even set the image as the background here. Let's try adding a thin border on the items. After that, we can pick a semi-transparent color for the border. Then some padding to beef the content area. Box shadow can be used to bring out more texture in the background with a custom color shadow, depth and position. Going into the icon section, we can change its color first. Then apply a gradient background color over the white text. See, the hover background changes along with the button. You can use border radius on the icon to make the corners round. You can also adjust the whole icon size using the scroll bar here. And the font size scroll bar means the icon text size. The icon also has a box shadow option in case you want to style it more. Next. We go to the names section and change the text color to white. 
You can also change the font using the typography option here. There's also the text shadow option included here. And lastly, you can change the color of the text or link text from this section right here. There are also hover color, spacing, and typography option included. Just use as you see them fit. That's it, your brand grid is ready to show off. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, you like and subscribe to our channel and stay updated. Until next time.